In this video, the sixth in the Getting Started series, we will create the bail component and learn some additional functionality such as tangent and equal constraints, the project command, offset, extrude to object, and setting appearances. Let's begin by starting a new design. Either go to the File menu, New Design, or you can click the plus symbol across the top menu. Create a new component and name it Bail. Like mentioned before, it is best practice to create everything as a component. We want to start sketching the shape of the bail on the top plane, so create a sketch and select the top plane to reference it. To create the elliptical bail, use the ellipse command from the Create menu. Select the 0, 0 point as the center, and enter 60 for the length, ensuring that the line is horizontal. Then, input 44 millimeters for the height. Adjust the dimensions placement as needed. From the top edge of the ellipse, draw two vertical lines down to the bottom edge. Fusion automatically creates coincident constraints because we're clicking on the ellipse's edge. This is visible by briefly hovering over the line's endpoint, which will display the coincident constraint icon. Dimension the left line to be 25.5 millimeters from the center. Use the equal constraint to make the other line equal to the first. Notice it turns black, signifying that it is fully constrained. It is always better to use just one dimension instead of two. That way, if you want to change the distance, you only have to edit the one dimension and the other line will update also, due to the equal constraint. Refer to Exhibit 1. Extrude the middle profile by 7 mm. To create a circular boss on top of this part, we can utilize Fusion's quick primitives instead of a sketch with a circle. From the Create menu, select Cylinder, then click the top face of the part. Click the center point, type 32.8, and press Enter. Then input 14 for the height. The cylinder primitive will automatically join our existing part. Pre-select the top face, right-click, and then choose Create Sketch. We want to offset the edge of the cylinder, but we always want our offset to reference the diameter of the cylinder. This is where the project command is useful. Go to Create, Project, Project, or you can use the shortcut key P and click on the face of the cylinder. A purple line appears, signifying the face has been projected. Next, we will utilize the offset command to move the projected line inward by 1.3 millimeters. This ensures the line remains consistently 1.3 millimeters from the edge, regardless of any changes to the cylinder's diameter. Refer to Exhibit 2. Using the pre-selection shortcuts we've already learned, select the circular profile and extrude cut down 2.5 millimeters. Next, we want to create the arms of the bail. Given their symmetry, we'll draw one and then mirror it to the other side. Start by creating a sketch on the side face of the bail. Draw a 15 millimeter circle off to the side. We want to draw a line straight down from the circle, but that's also tangent to the circle. This is a neat tip. Click on the line command and then click and hold on the edge of the circle and then move the mouse. Notice that the line is automatically tangent to the circle. Move straight down and click. Then move over past the circle and click again. And then move back to the circle until you see the tangent constraint icon appear. Dimension the horizontal line to be 21 millimeters and the circle to be 25 millimeters up from that line. Lastly, use the midpoint constraint to constrain the horizontal line to the bottom of the bail. Refer to Exhibit 3.
Extrude join the command into the part 6 millimeters. We now want to round some of the edges using the fillet command. By clicking the plus icon, we can create what's called a selection set inside of the fillet command, which allows us to select multiple edges and specify different sizes, but they all exist under one fillet feature in the timeline. Refer to Exhibit 4. We need to remove some material from the standoff, so create a sketch on the side of the standoff. Draw an 8mm circle and use the line command with the tangent trick we just used earlier to draw a similar shape of the standoff. Dimension the center of the circle to be 12mm up from the bottom. We want the line to be at the same angle as the angled line of the standoff, so we will use the parallel constraint. Lastly, we will lock down the sketch by constraining the midpoints of the bottom lines. Refer to Exhibit 5. To cut the profile into the standoff while following the cylinder's curve, utilize the Extrude to Object command with a 4mm offset. This will create an extrusion that conforms to the cylinder's shape, but with the surface set back 4mm. Additionally, fill at the bottom edges by 2 mm. Using the hole command, create a 4 mm hole through the center of the standoff. Click on the face and drag the blue dot to the upper white dot, which marks the center of the standoff's radius. In the dialog, set the hole's diameter to 4 mm and change the extents from distance to all. Refer to Exhibit 6. Now that we've finished with the standoff, we want to mirror all of its features to the other side of the part. Use the Create Mirror command and change the object type to Features. Then select the two extrude features, the two fillet features, and the whole feature from the timeline. You will notice that they all highlight blue in the viewport and in the timeline. Click on the Select next to the mirror plane and select the side or right plane. If it's buried in the model, you can zoom out until you can see the plane. Then press OK and see how all the steps that you completed mirrored over to the other side. Refer to Exhibit 7. The bail design is nearly complete with only a few features remaining to be added. On the front plane, Create a sketch and project the entire body to generate a silhouette of the bale. Draw a center line vertically through the model's center. Create a stair step shape with the line command and add dimensions as indicated in Exhibit 8. We now want to revolve the profile around the center line, but it's buried inside of the body. A neat tip is to click and hold your left mouse button for about a second and it probes through the design and allows you to select the profile from the list. Then, select the Revolve command from the Create menu and click OK. Fill it the bottom edge of the bale 3 millimeters. Because the tangent chain option is checked, it selects all of the edges at once instead of having to select them one by one. Add a selection set and select the top edge and set it to be 0.5 mm. A recess for a washer and the main shaft is the last feature to add to the bale. Begin by sketching two concentric circles on the top face of the boss. These circles should be 12.2 mm and 6 mm in diameter, respectively. Across the insides of each circle, draw horizontal lines at the top and bottom. Use the equal constraint for the lines on the big circle, and then again for the lines on the small circle. Refer to Exhibit 9. 
dimension the larger lines to be 10 millimeters apart and the smaller lines to be 4.85 millimeters apart. Extrude the larger slot profile and all of the inside profile down minus 0.8 millimeters. Refer to Exhibit 10. Reactivate the sketch in the browser and select the inside slot profile and extrude cut it completely through the model. Then deactivate the sketch. We want the bale to have a red powder coat appearance, so go to the Modify Appearance menu, then choose Paint, Powder Coat Smooth, then Powder Coat Red. If there's a down arrow next to your material, you will need to click that first to download it. Then just drag the material onto the bale. Refer to Exhibit 11. Save your design and call it Bale. In the next video, we will learn how to import models into our design and make direct edits to them.